Crocus, Screaming in the Night, the CBT guitar lesson for Richard. Richard, I think you're a new CBT student. Uh, tuning is standard for this. I love this song. It's one of the first songs I heard from Crocus. It was this, or Eat the Rich, and went and bought this album instantly, Headhunter. It's just great song. Great guitar stuff. Just awesome. So um, let's jump in. There's five pages of tabs here on this intro. I did my best to emulate with my tools here. The, the effects and stuff, but we're going to start at section 1A and it's uh, clean, a little bit of fuzz in it, a little bit of dirt, but 8B with the open high E. This open high E is in here consistently. And then 7th fret B with the open E, hammer to 8B. And then back to 7 open, 8 open, and 7, 8, 7. And that open high E is with all of it. Back to the 8th fret, with the open. 7th fret, hammer 8, back to 7. And then this one we change over to 3B, with the open E of course, slide to 5. And then pick the open high E. Go back to 3B with the open E, slide to 5, and then go back to 3 open, B, E. Okay, and then section 1B, 38 seconds in. I put them, you know, section 1A, 1B, 1C, if they were pretty much within the same section of the song. All right, so um, coming in here, 8B, and every time I say a note here, it's with an open high E, okay? So, 8, 7th fret, hammer 8, back to 7. Remember, hammer, when you're, ha you're picking and slamming the finger down, right? I haven't heard you play yet, so back to seven. Eighth fret with the open. You hit the eighth again, but slide to ten. And then back to eight seven, you'll go. The tenth fret high E. That's a hold, you'll see a darkened line on the top of your tabs. That that way you don't go. You let this ring with it. Okay? Keeps it flowing. And then from there, uh, seventh fret, hammer to eight. Do that again two times. Back to the seventh fret. And then go fifth fret B with the open. So our melody line, as you can see, is all on string two, the B string. Go five, three, three, slide to five. And those lines in there uh, are your rests or your pauses. Third fret, let it ring a second, and then slide to five. And then back to third fret. Okay, section one C. Now this is a little more distorted, so what I'm gonna do is turn my dirt channel on, but turn the volume down, because it's not full volume. Um, so what you want is uh, it's using a whammy bar in this, 14 D, and then 12 B open high E and you want to just vibrato with the whammy bar. Okay, and then this here, you'll go. Open B, 14G, slide to 16. And then open B to 14G whammy vibrato, so it's. Okay, so you have. Okay, and then um, minute three in, we'll go 15B, slide to 17, and then shift that index finger down to 17E, slide it back to 15, and that's a hold as well, so you should hear two notes. Oops, try that again. G, 15 G, 15 B, slide to 16, 17. That's a whole step ascending bit, or slide twice. Back to 14, 15, whammy vibrato. Kind of has that Def Leppard kind of sound to it. And then uh, natural harmonics, fret 12 on the last three strings, the E, the B, and the G. Natural harmonics. pressure but we're gonna hit them all at the same time so it'll be. and then um, 
you'll end with this. Oops. It's a B7. Bar the second fret, A, D, G, and B. Go 4D and 4B. Keep the knuckles coming down so you can clearly arpeggiate it. A, D, G, B. Okay. Um, still clean stuff. We're back to clean here. And this is section 2. I believe it's the verse. 7A, 9D, 9G, and 8B. I would just bar the 7th fret. You'll see why. It goes... So it's an E minor, um, you'll strum, let it ring, and then strum it again, and just lift these three fingers off to where it's all the bar, 7th fret, A, D, G, B. So you'll go, three, four, back to the E minor, and then go, 7s, come down, 7s. section three and uh, I need to change the effect here this is this is going to be uh, just a little bit of reverb on this part and this will go this part I wanted to tell you um, Richard they're doing two things um, let me show you what I'm talking about we're gonna go um, what they're doing, it's real pretty actually, one guitar is doing octaves, they're like building the chord with uh, the octaves, one guy going... Some along those lines, the other one's like... Or, so, if you listen to it, you can hear kind of the octave thing happening, but I wanted to kind of conform it to one guitar that will sound full for you. Um, these notes are all consisting in them octaves anyways. But before we get to that, fifth fret on the low E, pick hammer on to seven, and then go five A. Seven E, pull off to open, so pull off is the opposite of a hammer on. So I'm just flicking it off the finger. To three E. To an open E. And then here comes our downbeat. That E minor I was showing you earlier, we're gonna do that. 7998 A D G B. You're gonna strum, strum, strum. Um, string mutes. They pass quick, they're hard to hear sometimes, but they're in there. It's not palm muting, it's coming off these fingers. Just basically top three strings. Back to the E minor twice. So an open A, transitioning to a C major, 3A, 5th fret D, G, and B. You can use your third finger barring it or your pinky. And then start it over from the open E. Only difference this time is, um, that open A, the transition to the C major, is now going to be a palm muted open A to a D major, 577 A, D, G. And that'll be it. Um, one minute, 45 seconds in, you have a series of repeats, um, and it will lead back to the part you just did, section three, but it'll, it'll be one time, no star. All that means is, if you look after that, you'll see a... Uh, It's uh, instead of the uh, that D chord, we're going to be going barred seventh fret. Just bar everything on the seventh fret and go nine A. This is the B minor seven chord. You don't hear them a lot in rock, but it sounds beautiful in this. Strum everything except the high E. Whammy bar. Okay, and then what's next here?
this part's really cool. And this is done dual guitars, you know, but. And that's uh, 2 minutes 18 seconds in. 7G slide to 9. This is all on the G string. And then go 757 seven, slide 9 vibrato. Manual vibrato. So you'll go. And then same thing now, but start on the 9th fret. It's the same uh, series of whole steps and such. So. Um, so. Then, the big old chorus here, it's E minor. B. It's E minor to a C5 with the octave in it. So we know the E minor, right? Seven, nine, nine, eight, A through B. Strum, quick rest, two strums, let it ring. Again. Do the same beat over the eighth fret E and then 10th fret A and D. You can bar that or you can use two fingers, doesn't matter. That's just a, a C5 power chord with the octave in it. It goes two times, and then section 4C, 2 minutes 43 seconds in. This is cool. It goes. Seven A, ninth fret D and G. Whatever fingering you want, but just start with the index. Three times, back to five seven seven, back to seven nine nine. Slide. You're gonna do that two times. C major. It's a full C major. Three A, barred fifth fret D G and B. I use my third finger or my fourth. Just varies. It's that B we did earlier. Strum, strum, strum. Again. To the first part one time. As a matter of fact, it will be two times, but check it out. Here's the next one. Instead of sliding, go right into this. Watch. You're just going to chromatically, which means a half step at a time, one fret, move back. Seven, six, five, four. Okay, for that root. All power chords. And then uh, C major, actually a C5 power chord. 3A, 5th fret, D, G. Strum, 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 two times. And then this part's really cool. And then that's going to lead us into the solo. 7E, 9A, 9D, and 8G. He's actually playing full major chords here. You'll, you'll strum those, slide it. String mutes once again, basically top four strings, down, up, down, up. Start working your way back up, because you got to go back to that B major chord two times down. So. Then down, up, down. Then do this from the top string down, 799. Nine. You're going to slide to 810 and then go 799 nine to 577. Seven. Okay, and then you're right back to the B major. Slide. Four mutes down, up, down, up. And then it'll end with this. All right, so 2A, barred 4th fret, D, G, and B. Use your pinky for the bar if you can. You'll see why. Strum. Do it again with an open A string. 3rd fret on the E. Keep the bar the whole time on the 4th fret, D, G, and B. And mute the A. This middle finger is going to naturally mute it, or it should. And then 2nd fret, same concept. So your bass melody is... Beautiful. 
and then open E to A. I put that in parentheses because it's the downbeat um, of the solo. 